of the men of the 49th Infantry Division, California National Guard. These young men voluntarily serve their communities and their country by devoting part of their spare time to military training. The nation recognizes the value of their contribution to national defense by allowing them to fulfill their military obligation by six months active duty and continued participation as members of the 49th Infantry Division. Here they are, the 9,000 Argonauts who make up the largest reserve unit in the West, the 49th Infantry Division. They come from 115 units in 60 communities of Northern California. Stationed in modern armories like this one. Twice a month on drill nights, they report for instruction in military and technical subjects. At the armory, they exchange the civilian garb of the day for the uniform of the evening. Weapons are drawn from the arms racks. And classes are conducted under trained instructors. Once every month, a Sunday drill is held and the unit marches off to practice what it has learned. Individual instruction is given. A skilled non-commissioned officer sets the example and the platoon executes the drill as a unit. The Sunday drill lasts all day. It's really two drills and rates two days pay. Mess call gets quick action. The menu is varied. The food well cooked and served hot. The 49th Infantry Division teaches more than strictly military subjects. Ordnance maintains the weapons with which the soldier fights. And the vehicles on which he rides. To learn the operation of complicated equipment like this, and get paid for it, is something worth looking into. The 49th Military Police Company is another special unit. The MPs are responsible for order and safety among military personnel. The 249th Signal Company is a natural for anyone who makes a hobby of radio and electronics. Having all kinds of modern equipment at its disposal. The Quartermaster Corps has its own specialized equipment. Six months before this picture was taken, this man had never operated a bulldozer. He learned with the 579th Engineer Battalion. The engineers build the bridges for the infantrymen and clear obstacles from his path. Our engineers combine their training with useful tasks, like building this dam at Glen Ellen. We could take up the rest of this film, just demonstrating the types of equipment used by the 579th engineers. The 49th Infantry Division Band is famous throughout the nation, and its members are all professional musicians. While the band specializes in sweet sounds, the Chemical Corps specializes in unsweet smells. Chemical section personnel have a lot of fun watching other people going through the gas chamber. With or without gas masks. 
Whatever branch the recruit chooses, he will learn two things, teamwork and leadership. This is teamwork. These men have learned to keep step. Or have they? National Guardsmen play an important part in community life. Events like this harvest dance make the local armory a favorite gathering place for guardsmen and their friends. Every Argonaut starts his military career with six months active duty at an active army post. Here, together with men from other reserve organizations, they spend six months learning basic soldiering. These men from the 49th were in training at Fort Ord when this film was made. At completion of their six months, they will continue their training with the 49th Infantry Division, including two weeks of more advanced training each summer at Camp Roberts near Paso Robles. Units travel to camp by their own transportation and convoys arrive on the opening day from dawn until late at night. Within 24 hours, these units must be established and ready to commence training. Mess personnel have preceded the troops, and the men march off to their first meal on schedule. On the morning after arrival, the division assembles for orientation. The division commander and his staff orient the men of the division on its training mission. After the ceremonies, the units march off to their training areas. The first week's training is more or less basic, including individual infantry weapons, the M1 rifle, and the Browning automatic rifle. Heavier support is provided by the mortars. The rocket launcher, known as the bazooka, is an easily portable anti-tank weapon which packs a real wallet. injured men must be gotten to the hospital in the shortest possible time. This is the way the medics and the air section do it. Recoilless rifles combine extreme mobility with heavy firepower. The 57 millimeter is the smallest of these. Then comes the larger 75 millimeter. And finally, the big 105 millimeter, which is mounted on a Jeep. The week of field training ends on Saturday morning with a review in which the entire division takes part. When the band steps off, the entire division passes in review.
relatives and friends of the Argonauts come from far and near to watch their men pass by. At the close of these colorful ceremonies, the Division Light Aviation passes in review as the last element of the Division. Sunday is a day of rest, a day of fun and laughter, of reunion with families and friends. The 49th Infantry Division Barbecue is the high point on Sunday and is participated in by all units. The guardsmen and their friends can spend the afternoon eating or enjoying themselves in other ways. from engaging in tug-of-war or saving gasoline for their organizations or taking a cool swim. Monday morning, training starts again with the various elements learning to work together in more complicated maneuvers. The best part is coming back, especially if there's a tank handy to hitch a ride. These anti-aircraft men are firing at a drone plane released in an area to the rear and flown across the line of fire by remote control. substitute has yet been found for artillery for close-in fire support of infantry. This is what we mean by learning teamwork. And here are the results, eight miles away. The tank men use their tanks for more purposes than one, like this fellow doing a little engineer work, building a fort. Tanks have heavy firepower. And are an integral part of all infantry maneuvers. Guardsmen draw full pay and allowances for field training. We spoke of teamwork. The 49th Infantry Division also teaches leadership. The Officer Candidate School is open to all eligible personnel in the division. The Officer Candidate attends weekend training sessions like this one once a month. And takes a variety of courses designed to qualify him for the duties of an officer. Officer candidates are often called upon to instruct men of the various units. Then comes the great day when the officer candidate becomes a lieutenant and receives the congratulations of family and friends.